Hi, this is Anita from Real Estate Crunch. When a lot of people look at the boxables, they want to know like, hey, would the boxable be great for me to, you know, stick in my backyard as an Airbnb or would this be a great, you know, thing to have for an Airbnb and would I be able to make money on it? Well, there's a couple things that I want to talk about. First of all, about boxable and, you know, the um, accessory dwelling units. And I want to speak a little bit about Airbnbs. You know, Boxable has been capturing the imagination for a long time. They're a great company. They make a great product. You know, I actually, I, I like their product a lot. They're um, great at marketing. They're, you know, probably one of the top, you know, modular home companies in marketing. They've really been able to market. They've been able to generate a lot of interest. A lot of people know about them. So a lot of people are asking, like, is this a great investment for me to make for an Airbnb? First thing you need to look at is your return on investments. You know, there's a potential for sustainable profits. Will it be the right thing for you to get your return on investments? Also, you need to understand there could be legal and regulatory hurdles. You know, not all locations, the zoning will allow accessory dwelling units, nor will they allow you to have an accessory dwelling unit as an Airbnb. So this really, really depends upon your local zoning and your local area as to whether or not this will even be allowed because the truth is it may not even be allowed. You may not even be able to set up an accessory dwelling unit in your area or even rent it as an Airbnb. You know, there could also be hidden costs where, you know, some areas will, for accessory dwelling units, will make you pay maybe up to $10,000. Um, You need to, you know, you need to still have the foundation, you need to have utility hookups, you need to have all of that. There is a cost which will be for you to get your boxable. The other one is really location, location, location. It really depends upon where your boxable is located. Where is the location? A couple of problems which I see, you know, too, with with the boxable, you know, if you have a boxable in a great location where people want to go, you know, you have a great location, then yes, you can probably make money on it. If you have it in a location where, um, you know, maybe people don't necessarily want to go, it may be harder to. It really depends upon the location. One thing that I see as a competitor of the boxables, you know, the boxable units are not very big. You know, it's about the size of a hotel room, maybe a little bit bigger than a hotel room. But today there's many hotel rooms which have, you know, essentially have the kitchen in there. You know, they have, you know, access to laundry. They, you know, they have basically a little living room area. They have a desk area. So if you're competing against a hotel, I know for me that if I had a choice between staying at an Airbnb or staying at a Marriott where I had a kitchen and everything else, I'd probably stay at the Marriott. Number one, I'd get the points. Uh, Number two is that I might have access to other things as pools and gyms and other things like that, you know, other amenities that I'd want to use. So it really depends upon where the boxable set up and what else you are giving besides just the boxable. So the thing about it is not one size fits all, especially for Airbnb. And many people that have been Airbnb renters, they say, One thing that a lot of people don't like is even a 600 square foot apartment, they might say it's too small. A lot of people, when they're renting Airbnbs, they want to rent a bigger house. They might be having a big group coming. Maybe they want to, you know, rent a a big house on a lake where, you know, everybody can have their own bedroom. You know, then they're willing to pay, you know, pay that kind of money for that. But to, you know, pay money for a small little 300, you know, um, you know, square feet up uh, a unit you may be then competing with hotels. These are all things that you need to think about whether or not an Airbnb, um, a box bowl would be a smart choice for an Airbnb business. I've written a blog on this entitled, Is Boxable a Smart Choice for a Profitable Airbnb Business? And we've written quite a few other blogs about boxables and whether boxable is a good investment. You can go on to our website, Real Estate Crunch, and be able to see more. We, we love the boxable unit, but we think that they, you know, um, you know, there's certain things they'll be good for and certain things they may not be good for. And whether it be good or not for an Airbnb really depends upon a lot of different factors. If you are thinking of getting one for an Airbnb, we say good luck. If you are not, we would suggest that you read some of our information to be able to um, understand exactly what would be right for you or not.
This is Anita from Real Estate Crunch. Thank you so much for listening. We appreciate you. We appreciate our listeners. And we'd like to thank you for being part of our community. 